Thank you. I feel like Jay Leno or something. These were Ryan Ferguson's first words as a free man after being locked up for almost 10 years for a murder which the state now finds he did not commit. Really, I would not be here today, minus my family and Kathleen's owner and Doug. I mean, I to... Aside from a great many thanks, Ferguson was still in shock that his sentence has finally come to an end. I can get back to living my life, although I don't know yet how that'll feel. Uh, this is any indication, it's kind of weird. So, uh... Ferguson also had thanks to the judges who made the ruling which set him free. You know, I felt like this is really the first time we've been listened to by the justices, you know, and, and it feels incredible knowing that when we had our hearing, they were actually listening to the facts, they were talking about the facts, and it seemed as though they were going to actually rule on the facts. Ferguson also said his experience has left him wary of the American justice system. As you can see, it, it really, to get it arrested and to get charged for a crime you didn't commit, it's incredibly easy and you can lose your life very fast. But to get out of prison, it takes an army. I don't know if I can characterize a decade, but uh, oppression is a good word for it. Last week, Ferguson's father said the family also wants to help Ferguson's accuser, Chuck Erickson, get out as well. I don't really get caught up in my feelings towards him. I know that he was used and manipulated and uh, I kind of feel sorry for the guy and I know that he's been victimized. He's an innocent man in prison. Ferguson's family says their army won't rest until justice is completely served. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Columbia.